Hi, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Um, today's January 1st, uh, 2022. <laughs> and uh, I hope you guys are doing all right today. Um, so I meditated and uh, I meditated on um, for Aries and I got a song and I also kept hearing, um, somebody wants to break you down. Like somebody, like somebody wants to break you. I don't know what that's about, but anyways. So the song that I channeled is, uh, Linkin Park, um, Points of Authority. That's the song. So it goes, forfeit the game before somebody else takes you out of the frame and puts your name to shame cover up your face you can't run the race the pace is too fast you just won't last and then it goes you love the way i look at you while taking pleasure in the awful things you put me through you take away if i give in my life, my pride is broken. You like to think you're never wrong. You live what you've learned. And then it goes, you like to act like you're someone. You live what you've learned. You want someone to hurt like you. You live what you've learned. You wanna share what you've been through. You live what you've learned. So I'm kind of getting this person's like hurt, unhealed, and this person like projects how they feel about themselves onto other people, right? Possibly you. Um, I'm also getting this person's kind of like complains a lot about their life. Like they play the victim, like, oh, woe is me kind of situation. Um, but they never, like, do anything about it. Anyway. Okay. So, let's, let's just, let's dive into this, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, please allow me to be a channel. need to hear right now. Oh, wow. Okay. So first out the gate, we got man holding a heart. Number 45. That could be someone's age or... Then we have door to... No, wait. This was second. Then we have angel of strength, number 15. And then we have door to personal healing and happiness, number 34. And then on the bottom of the deck, we have appreciation number 15. Also kind of, it also breaks down to a number six. So somebody's reminiscing about you and with appreciation being here, I'm feeling like this person's is having good memories, nostalgia, like um, wanting to come back. Appreciate, appreciating you now kind of thing. What's that saying? Um, you don't have what you got until it's gone. That kind of situation. I'm also getting someone is really admiring your strength. 
Okay. <sighs> Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you please give me a little bit more clarity on the cards that I have before me for my Aries? Lovers, you could be dealing with a Gemini. Number 15. So, um, should I say it? This is definitely a past, well, yeah, obviously it's a past person. Hold on. Why do we have angel of strength? There could be an age difference too. This man could be older than you or younger, vice versa. No, he seems like an older man. And if he's not physically older, then he could... Maybe if he wasn't mature in the past, maybe he's become mature, if that makes sense. We have Toil and Labor, number 38. And that's with strength. So with that, that's kind of telling me... You, you've put in the work. Like, real talk. You put in the work within yourself in order to be where you are now. Like, to be standing as strong as you are. Um, to um, having just, like, self-respect and self-love and self-worth. You put in the work. It wasn't just, like, uh, an overnight situation. We have main mail at the bottom of the deck. Why do we have door to personal healing and happiness spirit? Beautiful. We have sudden wealth. Number 11. Oh my gosh. Okay, I feel like, okay, this is what I'm getting with this so far. I feel like this has been a long journey, right? And, um... And you probably haven't had the best, um, the best luck in love, right? In the love department. But I feel like with this, like all the work that you put in within yourself to better yourself, I think the universe is going to bless you because you decided to walk through this door of personal healing and happiness. Spirit's going to bless you. And I feel like it's going to come out of nowhere. Like it's going to just be like, oh, I'm going to the grocery store. Bam, your soulmate. Something like that. <laughs> That's what it feels like. We got expectation at the bottom of the deck. It's crazy. Why do we have appreciation? We have thief at the bottom of the, or not the bottom. This is what came out um, on top of appreciation. This is making me feel like <laughs> when you get, when you end up meeting this new person, your old person is going to feel like someone stole you away from them. What the fuck? Yeah, pathway. But this is, this is destined, this is meant to occur on your journey because I feel like this old past person, maybe they ran out of time. Yeah. Ooh. I'm excited. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Why do we have um man holding a heart spear with the lovers here? Wow. Okay. Oh, she kind of wants to go this way. Okay.
someone's mm, someone might be someone might be jealous Someone would be jealous and, okay, someone who, okay, because we have the Empress in reverse, sorry. We have the Empress in reverse. We also have the Queen of Wands in reverse. We have the Three of Cups and the Chariot together, right? So, to me, what this is reading is like, mm, Uh, I don't want to say that either. Okay, we'll just say this. This is what it seems like. This person reunited in the past with an old person, and that old person didn't know their worth, right? And now this person that they were old, the past person that they were with that they left you for, now they're jealous and upset because their their sex isn't working anymore. Like this person's not. I feel like their relationship was only based off lust, right? And now this this man, your person, is moving on from this person because they want to come in and bring you justice. They want to tell you the truth about how they feel. Um, why do we have Angel of Strength? Wow, okay, yes. Oh my God, yes. This is fucking beautiful. Can I get one more spirit? Thank you. Wow, this this person is heartbroken without you, like for real. Three of swords. Okay, this person sees you sees you as the ten of cups. This person sees you as wife material. This person wants to commit with you. They want to have a family. They see it as a long-term commitment, Ace of Pentacles, long-term, solid. They see you as good news. They want to offer you this, this cup of emotion. Look at all that water. They're thirsty and they want to drink, <laughs> okay? That's what's going on here. All right, why do we have door to personal healing and happiness with sudden wealth spirit? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going. Sort of personal healing and happiness with sudden wealth spirit. Okay. One more. Shut up. I can't tell. I'm gonna take you like this. Okay. Okay. We got the four of wands, the death card in reverse, knight card, the knight of wands in reverse, and emperor. <sighs> this person does not want this relationship between you two to be over. This connection in general, they don't want it to be over for good. And they're 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 ready to put down their player ways. I feel like this person had a um a problem with commitment. They had commitment issues in the past and they're realizing now that you are the one, I guess. Emperor. He's he's uh, he's deciding to step up basically and come in with a romantic gesture. But I don't know. We got five of swords on top. I don't know if you're going to be, that's a little bit of self-sabotage type of energy. So I don't know, I don't know who might do what. Why do we got appreciation in a thief spirit? Somebody might come in and somebody might rush in. Oh, that's your past person. That's the new person. Someone is, okay, so your past person is regretful for being flighty and non-committal. Non um, they want to rush in and tell you something about 
before they want to come in and tell you that they appreciate you and they see you as good news and all that before someone else swipes you up basically because they're in regret five of cups crying over spilled milk okay um i'm like nervous because it's it's too good okay hold on let's see Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me a little bit more about my Aries here and this connection they got going on here? We have Paradise. It says happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. You this person might come in and try to offer you to go on a vacation with them or something. This person wants to let you know, I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, blooming, fun, flirting, want to date. Okay, there's two storylines going on here. I feel like your old person, I think you might, okay, this is what I'm getting. You might have to choose between two people, an old person and a new person. I think once you start going on a couple dates with this new person that's going to come out of nowhere, which is, I think, your actual emperor, um, this old person is going to try to come and rush in and try to interrupt that. Yeah, because we have golden mirror at the bottom of the deck. It says self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. So I feel like this person's just going to come in. Oh to ruin something you got good going on. Tell me more. Oh, that's a lot. I'll take the kill. Yeah, they just wanna come in and try to seduce you to break this, this union from coming together. Seduction at the bottom of the deck. We have engagement ring. Please don't tell me. Engagement ring, it says engagement, partnership, commitment, and eternity, eternity, complete, Completion, union, sorry. But it's a karmic relationship, okay? Fleeting, triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. This person just wants to have control. This person doesn't want to see you happy. That's what I'm getting. What, what, this is like the bottom line of what it is. Girl talk. It says time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. See? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. I knew something was too good to be true. Okay. So, but there is good. There is good here. There is an actual, like, commitment going on here, but it's not that person. Um... Mm. Tell me more. I'm gonna use these. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Can you tell me a little bit more about what's going on here? For my Aries, can you tell me about what's going on with my Aries in this relationship? Okay. It says, person who loves to complain. What was I saying? Okay. So this person could be an earth sign, Aries. This could be an earth sign. Something about um, September. Oh, so they could be a Virgo. They could have been born in uh, September or something happened in September. You, you, yeah. 111. You might be seeing that. Um... This person is lustful. This person's also very negative. Um, oh, it says hometown friends reaching out, don't answer. So you could be getting random um, phone calls, emails, or like friend requests on Facebook or whatever from like friends from your hometown that you don't talk to. Spirit's trying to let you know uh, it's suspect. Okay. Um, we have sister. And then we have shh, down low love affair. Interesting. 
Interesting. Can you tell me more, Spirit? Okay. So someone in this situation is broke. You're, oh gosh, your toxic family could be a part of this. Maybe your toxic family is broke. We've got a gang activity situation associated with a Capricorn. Um, you may be a light worker or someone you know is a light worker. Um, somebody's name starts with a K. And something in, um, significant happened in March or someone's birthday is in March. Uh, somebody possibly, this is not supposed to be in here. Uh, somebody possibly lied on the stand. That's not supposed to be in here. You could be seeing monarch butterflies. A hateful baby daddy could be involved in this situation. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so what I'm getting from this is somebody might come in with a love bombing tactic. Um, possibly trying to propose to you. I'm sorry I'm ruining a surprise, but that's what's happening. Um, but it's love bombing. This person's not really trying to commit to you. They're just trying. It's a way for them to lock you down so that you won't go nowhere to keep you stuck. See what I'm saying? So you don't get a chance to actually meet someone who's for you, like a true soulmate. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me a little bit more about this situation for my Aries? Jeez. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have Bridge. It says, successively, successfully overcoming a problem. Um, we have Woman. It says, dealings or relationships with a woman. We have scissors. Disappointment in some affair. And then we have lobster. Financial pinch. So someone is broke. It could be this woman. Um, we have hat. It says, you will be playing a different role. Okay. Okay. It says vulture, it says depression, anxiety, worry that somebody is against you. So you may be feeling in this energy or maybe this woman over here. Um, ink pot, it says problems to be resolved. To me, I feel like this is somebody let out some information they weren't supposed to. Um, let's do this one. I'm getting that song. Uh, I don't know when it's from the nineties. It goes, I'm only happy when it rains. Da, 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 da. I'm only happy when it rains. I don't know. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? I'm getting this person, The this person is pessimistic. Okay. This person says, I miss laughing with you. You could be dealing with a bitter ex that is refusing for you to move on. We have, um, the grass wasn't greener, can I come home? Let's see, okay, this says, please baby, wait for me. This person says, I am a fool. They say you're breathtaking. Say, I wish I was there for you when your world was falling apart. So this person probably, you probably felt like this person um, basically wasn't there for you when at the, the point, the times they were supposed to, the most, the important times. 
they didn't they weren't there for you um they also want to say i stay up all night thinking about you so you're definitely on this person's mind once again uh, i wasn't there for you when you were falling down this person is in fucking regret. They want to... I don't know how I feel about this. Okay. Um. Can you tell us more, Spirit, about what this person may want to say to my Aries? Oh my God. Can you tell me more, Spirit? Okay. Okay, so <laughs> at the bottom of the deck, we have, we have growing up, I was taught that showing my emotions is a sign of weakness. You make me weak. Um, this person could be approaching you in two days. This person wants to say, I can still smell you. Maybe you like wear a certain perfume. I don't know. Um, I need to love myself first. We have, I have feelings for you, but I'm afraid to let you in. No. This person says, I'm unlovable. You're not. You're lovable. Something about one month. One month. The answer is yes. What is this? You could be dealing with a tall man or woman. Mm. Okay, let me just... I don't know how I feel about this. Why spirit, why angels? Is there any other additional advice or... divine guidance you have from my Aries regarding the situation. Oh my god! Okay, it says at the bottom of the deck, it says listen to your heart. Show love and compassion. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fulfillment is possible. Oh, Lord. What's going on? Oh, hold on. What is happening? Okay. This is kind of a new deck, so I'm going to... I'm going to read a little more on it. Okay, so to show love and compassion. So, uh, Angel of Mount Shasta, express unconditional love. It may be difficult to show compassion under pressure, but you will be glad you did. Hold that vibration until others raise theirs to meet it. Once you experience the profound peace and love of the presence of an angel, You'll be changed forever. Oh my gosh. Okay. Why do we have 24? Okay. Guys. Okay, look. Okay, so this is a uh, fulfillment is possible. It's, um, the result you have worked so hard for is at hand. 
Keep going until it is realized, but remember to share the rewards with others. Take up your own grail and, and gaze inside. There you will behold the infinite source field. Uh, I don't know what that means. On your true hero's journey, when you are aligned with the universal law and do no harm, all possibilities are available. You must simply recognize them. So when this person comes and approaches you, 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 I'm getting, you have to be, you have to show love and com compassion, but you also have to have your discernment. Ay, Dios mío. Oh, no. I don't know. Let me go over these cards real quick. This person wants to come in. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Okay. I'm feeling like your your um your friends and your family has something to do with this though. I don't know if like they kind of came between you guys or what. I don't no, I don't know what this is. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. <sighs> okay. So, something about September. Oh, gosh. Uh, my ears, sorry. The grass wasn't greener. Can I come home? This could be a bitter ex involved with your toxic family. There could be a down low love affair in this situation. Regard maybe your sister. Was he sleeping with your sister? Oh my god, I don't wanna Okay, let's we're moving on. Um, hometown friends reaching out, don't answer. They could be a negative person. We got you could be seeing 111, or maybe you should look up the angel number meaning for 111. Um, please, baby, wait for me. This is what this person wants you to do. Maybe they wanted you to do that in the past, but you moved on or vice versa. Um, we have Lightworker. We have Capricorn. A Capricorn could be lustful. A hateful baby daddy. Or something happened with a hateful baby daddy in March. Someone's name could start with the letter K, middle or less. Somebody is broke in this situation. Someone says, I miss laughing with you. This could be an earth sign or they can have earth anywhere in their chart. This person says, I wasn't there for you when you were falling down, sad face. We also have, I wish I was there for you when your world was falling apart. Um, they want to say you're breathtaking. They feel like a fool. Something regarding gang activity, okay? <laughs> All right, so, wow. All right, this is going to conclude your reading, my Aries. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, please like, dislike, uh, share, comment. Um, it would really help out my channel, and I appreciate you. Um, yeah, until next time. Uh, later. I love you. Bye.